My name is Katie Leatherwood. I'm from Athens, Texas, um, and I live in Latvia, uh, Eastern Europe country. Uh, I've lived there about almost three years as a missionary. Really, I was uh, kind of got through my schooling, got good experience, um, kind of felt six years into professional, um, felt God calling me to do something a little bit different with the same skills that I had. Um, and so I use this as a pathway to get into people's lives, to invest into their lives, um, help them physically, um, but also so they can be helped spiritually. Um, and so I, I use my skills in prosthetics and orthotics uh, to do this. Um, in Latvia, they do very good with what they know. It's good what they use, um, but they know there's better out there. Um, many people in Latvia live in the countryside, and so it takes them a lot of time and a lot of money for them to get into the city. Uh, for the, the socket fittings, to have multiple trips is very expensive for these people. And so a lot of times, because of that, they may just say, I'll do without. And so they resort back to the quad socket that they know how to do quickly, and it's done. But as a result, it's not comfortable, they have more problems, it's not stable for them. I was invited by an organization in Latvia uh, to come with them on a trip to Jordan. Um, and my role would be fitting prosthetics. Um, I had never been there and they had never taken a trip of this type. Um, so we went with really no expectations, just kind of going, didn't know what to expect, didn't know what equipment we would have. Um, but I took two socketless sockets based on some measurements that I got prior to and, and had great results. The, the good thing about this socket, we were able to make all those adjustments on site without having to run down and uh, pull new plastic or make new plaster. Um, we had several, several men that were Iraqi, Syrian, Jordan, um, and that they were helping us. And so I would have them help assemble the socket, make adjustments, um, and they were saying, I, I could do this. Um, and so I was, you know, making it a point that yes, this, this is, this type of technology anyone can do with a little training. It can provide employment, but it can also provide just a way of, of these people to make an impact on their own people. Um, by the end of it, we had two men walking, um, one without anything, no canes or crutches. And at the end, we were preparing to leave. And we, we look over and the man that we had just fit is walking across the street to the store holding his son's hand. Um, and, and as a team, we said, that's the first time he's done that in five years since he lost his leg. Um, so Sakula Socket was able to give him his, his son's hand back, basically. Um, and so that was, that was huge. That was kind of the aha moment of the trip is just seeing the, the impact that, that something this simple can have on him, but also his son.